Hello and welcome to this episode of Cookie in the Garage with Caleb. I'll be your host, Caleb, and um... We're in my garage. I hope that take was good. I, I'm not doing another one. The last time on the show, I showed you how to make pancakes. Now, instead of showing you something uh, just to cook one item, I'm going to show you uh, an instrument that can cook a multitude of items. It's a crock pot. We're here at Drifty Gift to get a microwave. It's not zooming in. Man, it's zooming in. We're at Drifty Gift to get a microwave. Okay, there we go. Hey Caleb, what'd you get? I got David Y. Goliath. Um, it's two DVDs in one, so I think this is a pretty good deal. This is a second side, there's a woman, so that's pretty cool, you know. Um, if there's a woman. <laughs> I present to you this gift. Spring 2008, girls, Kristen Berg. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. This is a pretty good game. Three, 3D Mini Golf. That looks like a good game. Is it, I think it's a pretty good game. Hey. Perfect. Hey, take this. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know if this thing actually works. I, it's on high, but I don't feel any heat. So uh, let's let's go ahead and speed up the process. There we go. Okay, now that you've heated up your crock pot, uh, the next thing to do is add some ingredients. Now some people would say, hey, you should wash that. Uh, you just put like hairspray and stuff in it. <coughs> it's not. And you got this from the dollar store. It's probably like rat, rat, rat poop and all sorts of stuff. And I say, no, I don't give a rat's poop about that because it adds extra f extra flavor. This, this needs a lot more cleaning than a piece of toilet paper. But listen, I, I'm a man who likes living on the edge, okay? Now, every crock pot dish has something that you put inside it as the main base. Uh, sometimes it's chicken, beef. Today, I am using chicken. This is a grilled and ready Tyson, so it doesn't even have to be heated. It's ready as is. Those are really big. So one chicken. Now since I don't have any gravy to go with this, which is what you usually do, I'm gonna add something that some people might not like. Black beans. So let's crack this baby open. Heck yeah. Those are some nice beans. <coughs> okay. Now we're gonna add the beans. Beans added. Now to make sure everything blends smoothly in the pot, it's like a big a big stew and everything's coming together real nice. Who doesn't love some Concord grape jelly? I don't know, I sure do. So I'll just get some of that, and I, I'm gonna need a spoon. Okay, jelly added. Now to make sure this has a nice, homey kind of taste, we're gonna add something, a little orange. We're gonna little, uh, I got um, easy mac and cheese. This is all original. And we're just gonna put some, of, put some of this in here. These are just the cheese packets, by the way. Gonna add some of these bad boys. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good already. Let's get a good shot of that right here. Look at that, that's, that's some good stuff right there. We got the freaking jelly and the beans. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Uh, granola bar, that's always pretty good. I've got some cheese it grooves. It has, um, get a free Gears 5 three day boost. That's really cool, everybody loves Gears 5. I've got some marshmallows, I guess. So, let's pour some of those in. That's good, yeah, yeah. Put a bunch of those in there. 
and I've got some Kool-Aid. This is uh, orange Kool-Aid. It looks like it's from 2012. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna pour, pour this in here. It, it's red, even, okay. And for the piece of resistance. <coughs> Okay, now we're all good to go. We're all good to go to cook this baby up. I, I hope it works. Is it hot? No, it's not hot at all. Okay guys, the crock pot is cooking. Uh, there it is right there. So now now we're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna lay a, a small smidge. It's not, it's taking, it's taking its time. One hour later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to open this baby up. All, I'm gonna get a picture real quick to put this on screen. All right, here we go. And there it is. If you're wondering what this smells like, it's uh, puke. That's what, it smells like puke. It, <laughs> trying to chop up the chicken. Uh, here's some of the chicken. It just smells like orange and gray and beans with a hint of chicken. Um, that's it. That's what it smells like. Um, let me see the granola. Hold it in there. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Let's get a big old scoop. Bon Appetit. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's a, <coughs> that's a really good recipe. Uh, <coughs> you want you can cook this just yourself or uh, or you can go get um, you know wherever you want this is good for um, Christmas dinners it's it's good for all sorts it's good for everything it really is okay okay that's, that's it that's it you're, you're done you're done That looks much better. That I that looks way better than um, than what it did before. I'm just gonna. Oh. <coughs> wow. That's it. That's how you. Make, that's how you make a good crock pot. Uh, it's. I think there's only one thing left that we can do um, with this specific crock pot mix um, and it's take it outside. Hello and welcome to the new segment I like to call um, uh, in the backyard with Caleb. You're not cooking. <laughs> 